We have a truce with Poland here over in about three years, and we're going to attack and take many of his provinces, and we are also going to take many provinces from France in the future. As far as colonial stuff goes, I was looking at this, and it looks like these lads are strong enough where they could easily take out these guys. So, since I cannot declare war for them for some reason, it says they have no cast of spell. That is incorrect. That is, the game is lying to you. They do. You see they have claims down here. And, um... This is fine, so I will just head on in. I will attack. I'll let him do all the wars down there. And you can see we'll be able to take all that land for them, which will be very good for us. Now, these guys as well. Just declare that war for them. They'll occupy a couple of provinces. Who cares? Not me. I don't care. And, um, you know, we're just waiting on him to get some claims. And it looks like you can also declare a war over here on these guys. I will wait until we get down there, though. Hey, look at that. We finished them all up. The entirety of the entire thing. So, Black Devils, we need Marines and Naval Professionalism. What is our Naval Professionalism at now? Um, Where are we at? Where is this at here? Naval Professionalism, we are at 45. Hmm. That's, uh, it's not very good. But if I recall, upgrading this Amsterdam... Not the Stock Exchange... This one here will give us a couple more. So we'll do that one. And I will actually sacrifice some men, throw some bodies at it to boost that up. So that'll get us up to 50. Uh-huh. And then what is it? You get 60, we'll get a blockade and privateer efficiency. I swear I had more than that, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Okay. More prestige. This is fine. Let's uh, placate one of our vassals. If you're going to lose the prestige, you might as well... Or if you're going to gain the prestige, you might as well spend it, which you can, right? Very good, very good. Um, I don't care about Orissa at all. They are a nobody in the new world. Very good. And uh, since we're still ahead, I will be spending all my excess diplomana on boosting up our mercantilism, which will increase our, um, our uh, provincial trade power as well as our embargo efficiency. And all that is good stuff. We should also make sure that we are embargoing all of our rivals, right? Ottomans and then Ming. We are indeed. Our, our PP is huge, which is nice. I love having big PP. I hope you guys do as well. So this province is good. We will state you all up and then we will boost you up. Let's actually dev you a few times. I'll use some admin too. Why not? And then why can I not upgrade you? Oh, during war, of course. I am uh, being dumb. I forgot about this war over here. His capital just got sieged down. No big deal. We will... This is my plan. We'll see what he can do. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's going to get occupied by uh, the other guys down there. I just... I can't be... Oh, look. Look at Norway. No way. Norway landed 11,000 men. You legends. They landed more than that even. 12,000 men the Norwegians landed. Absolute legends. Absolute legends. I'm uh, going to lose the stability. I I'm definitely not interested in losing any um, any of that stuff. So I'm going to... I should, probably should have done this a while ago. I know. I'm sorry. I honestly forget about these buildings, to be honest with you. I will build these guys in all the provinces I can, and that will allow us to free up quite a bit. Oh, I don't need to be building it in my vassal's lands. And that will free up quite a bit of um, crown land. Free stability. Yes, please. Admin efficiency. Really? I'm not used to that one. Cool. Well, that's uh, that's really nice. We will annex you. You will just go to my vassal. No big deal. Gets some, uh, some years of separatism there. That's unfortunate. Uh, global, yeah, Spy network construction is fine. That will allow me to get some more spy network on these guys. Lots of claims. Or lots of... Um, Lots of provinces over here we need to be getting claims on. I like to get claims on Verdun as well. These guys are at 69 war score. They're sieging back their capital. Uh, it looks like they left up this one province down here, though. Sadly. This is the intended peace deal, though. We'll see what we can do here. That is so cool that Norway shipped men all the way across the land. It's like a social experiment for me. So, our truce with these guys is up in October. So, we've still got plenty of time. 
to wrap this war up. Hopefully boost up our uh, economy a bit. There we go. Borders are much cleaner over here now. Portuguese Australia is uh, going strong over here. We're going to end up, uh, we'll probably make it happen eventually. So before we do anything else, let's upgrade you twice. And that should give us the 75 we're looking for. No, it does not. Holy crap, that is that is so much that they're asking for. Um, it's fine. All right, man. Let's see here. Let's get a couple of these state houses as well. That will help us out a bit more. Hey, there we go. We're actually under our governing capacity after we built all those, which is uh, something I probably should have done a long time ago. So let's declare this war for them. Since uh, Norway's already got some men over here, we can just do that. Now... They're allied to Yanua guys as well, and Apalwa, who is where? Uh, I don't think I'll touch them, but those guys will full annex as well. No reason not to, honestly. Tiwi, never heard of them. Cool name, though. Now, hopefully they'll just, you know, occupy all them, and we'll just be able to annex them as well. And then in October, we will attack these guys over here. So we get um, an extra merchant. Let's see here. What's a good spot to be steering from? Could probably steer from here. There's a lot of trade that's still on the table on the East Coast as well. Caribbean is still missing a ton as well. Man. I'm thinking... Let's try something. Let's steer from... Actually, no. Let's steer from the Gulf of St. Lawrence. That should work in our favor. Um, let's also make sure we're getting our claims here. Let's get our armies. We'll leave this one here. And let's get these armies over here. These guys have 19,000 men. They are allied to Spain. Damn. All right. Well, these guys, let's boost them up there. Let's um, first off figure out what our combat with is. 34. So let's uh, get this guy here. I got a comment saying that I should have my stacks be a little bit bigger than the actual combat width. I do agree with that generally. Um, I just I just really can't be bothered to uh, like worry about attrition all the time. So that that's the main thing. Uh, that's a lot of money. I'll just take the inflation. I don't care. What is our next idea group going to be, though? That is the question. So... Hmm. We could go with like espionage. Unironically, I don't mind espionage. It looks like it was buffed a bit as well, right? No, maybe not. No, maybe not. What kind of policies can we get? Goods produced 15%, manpower modifier 33%, cost fabricate claims 25, tech cost innovativeness gain. Huh. All right. What about like a I mean, realistically, like an influence would be good for us since we're going heavy on the vassal play. We should probably just plan on going influence, if I'm being honest. What kind of policies can we get with this one? Uh, power projection from insults. <laughs> vassal force limit and liberty desire and subjects. Vassal income from vassals and force limit contribution. So none of those are particularly useful, but... Liberty Desire, the Extra Relation, Diplo Rep, Envoy Travel Time. Let's do it. Let's do, let's plan on Influence as our next one. Truce with Poland and those lads is over. We're going to turn around and immediately attack them. And to be honest with you, I think I'm going to uh, annex Sardinia from, uh, from Spain. Can I co-belligerent them? Let's see here. I totally can co-belligerent Spain. So we will. Uh, we'll go for this Nal Naklo. There we go. Let's have you guys head on here. Make sure we got generals on our stacks. Very important. Let's get you guys over here. Now, I am very confident that Prussia is going to absolutely just destroy these guys. And uh, this stack here will come down and siege down Spain. Now, in this war, I plan to take... I'll separate piece Spain out and take um, uh, Sardinia. Because I want this copper here. That way we can start pumping out the, um, whatchamacallit, the, um, the thingamajigs, right? Isn't that what British people say? I know that's what Vic in my uh, Discord tells me. Um, that way we can uh, start pumping out cannons. And those cannons are going to be very, very good. We've won Warsaw. Very good. Yeah, their army is small. 
71,000. Are you guys loyal? They're not. Oh, that's awesome. That means we don't have to worry about them sending their armies over here to uh, to bug us. Lithuania will do nothing. They'll do nothing. Glorious. People are joining our coalition. Don't really care, to be honest with you. All right, these guys are just going to get separate pieced. And realistically, I kind of want it to be a shorter truce because I would like to get some more claim over here because this is more Baltic trade that we could be steering, which is a, certainly a good thing. Now we're waiting on one more cannon. There we go. Yeah, everybody in Germany is going to join my coalition at the same time. But we're also building up. And uh, look at this, almost 500,000 men for a force limit. How is that for a force limit, right? Let's uh, get another general. No, no, no. Just walk, march on down there. Did I pull my navy off of hunting? I think I did. Yes. Let's have you guys hunt enemy fleets in the North Atlantic. I have a feeling they'll do nothing. I know it says that they've got a lot of men. They're not going to attack me. I'm can I'm certainly like confident of that. Poland absolutely getting clobbered. Very good. I'll give the forts over to uh, Norway because of the defensiveness bonuses. And uh, it should be a pretty straightforward, easy war for us, honestly. Very good. And now we just need to siege these guys down. And the war is basically over at this point, right? Oh, no. They're marching some men up here. What am I going to do? Oh, no. It's fine. We'll just convert from my vassals. No big deal. Maybe I'll win a siege. Maybe. We'll see. I'm not convinced at any point. Uh, 425 or a 443. Uh, well, I'll go with the 425. 435. Not bad. I will, uh, I will accept that. So hopefully we win this siege. I'll stand these guys on here to assert our dominance via attrition. Give it to Norway. Let's march on over here. This is a minus one for them. Ah, smart, 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 smart. Let's uh, see if we can track them down here. It's wood, so it's a minus one for us, actually. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, not really much of a fight they're putting up, so we're good. We're good. My vassals will come on over here into Lithuania. Oh, well, it looks like they've been wiping a couple of their armies as well. Oh, shoot. Lithuania lost 30,000 men already. Not bad. And I will just come up here and start uh, crushing the poles. And I'm forced marching, and it's mostly just because I can't be bothered to uh, slow the game down. Got a, <laughs> I got a. It's so funny that it's sometimes I'll get comments being like, "I can't believe you complain about this and that when you play on speed five. And it's like, you know, I don't. People just don't get it. It's like you can play the game however you want. It's a sandbox game, and I like to play fast. Sue me. Sue me. <laughs> it's a fun game. It's even more fun when you play it the way you enjoy it and not the way that people tell you you have to enjoy it. So I think I will uh, I will do that. Just that. All right. Very good. Let's get a general on you and have you come down here. And let's head on down to Valencia. Our golden era is over. Sag. Right. I forgot about these guys down here. So let's see here. We will full annex you. No. This one will go to me as well. Now, I suppose I can just wait for them to get occupied, right? There's nothing wrong with that, with waiting for them to get occupied. So I'm in no rush for this war. This war over here, yeah, that's a tough one. They're actually getting attacked here. That might be a win for my vassal. Ah, for some reason, Sweden has 24,000 men down here for reasons. But I'm actually okay with um, piecing them out right now, which will actually invalidate their army over here so easy win right um I sh oh shoot i should have clicked this button a while ago would have saved me some mana dang it but uh <laughs> my dog just yawned next to me we're gonna be very close to uh getting that economic hegemon today so i'm gonna just get rid of you guys get rid of these guys those can have those can have our holdovers from our um Previous vassal. Now, yeah, get you guys down here. 
Now, separate piecing Spain should be pretty easy. Especially after we occupy a few of their key forts. Sadly, they're being annoying, though. It looks like they're going to uh, force me to defend my own lands. Which is never fun, you know? There we go. Brought these light ships over here. Let's have you guys private there uh, in Sevilla. Uh, very good. I love it. I love when you look at the trade nodes and it says Sevilla controlled by pirates. <laughs> oh, I love that. So Prussia is disloyal because they're just so developed. Yeah, it's not going to get any better for us either because they're going to be very developed here in the uh, in the coming days. Hmm. What's our trust looking like? Our trust is not gone up, but our favors have. So let us influence you. That should help out with relations as well, because our trust will give us uh, positive modifiers as well. Um, let's see here. Trade steering, Diplo rep, spy network construction. Let's go with trade steering. It's only a level three though. So it's not ideal, but that's okay. I'm excited for this one here. 10% goods produced. So take a look. We're making uh, 956. And I'm going to click this button a few times. And now I will spend the rest, our next Diplo, next round of Diplo on the ideas. And hopefully we'll be able to get this institution pretty fast. Oh, man. That is crazy how slowly it's it's spreading. It's actually insane. But uh, we definitely need to be building these guys. There's no reason why I shouldn't have a bunch of these. To be honest with you, I think I'm pretty sure I just forgot to build them. Because we have the money, obviously. Um, this is a big old Spanish stack over here, isn't it? All right. Let's get them together here. Let's uh, get them out of there. Don't know where they're going. Ming is no longer a valid rival. Of course they're not. I can actually see them now, which is cool. Now let's get you guys up there. Give that fort to Norve. Come over here and kill the Poles. With love, of course. Now let's have you guys get back over here. This war over here is essentially done. They still haven't landed on their land, so we're not going to be able to do this. Yeah, it's a lot of Diplo, too. Damn. <sighs> the things I do for peak borders, friends. The things I do for beautiful borders. So Spain is at 14. I would like to get this in the peace deal. This is what I'm looking for. As their war exhaustion goes up, they'll be more likely to accept the peace deal. So that's what we're working on right now. People are joining my coalition. I don't care. I don't think it will fire. Um, it might fire, but if it does, it's it's not anything we can't handle. We'll just have to slow it down and uh, play accordingly, right? No, no major issues, though. They are very beefy. They are very built up right now. Um, land maintenance. Trade efficiency, of course. Let's go with uh, bribe MP. Ignore corruption. Public and tradition is fine. Ignore corruption, admin support, diplo support, mill support, a little bit across the board there. Uh, use of crown lands is fine because we're uh, dev enough that we are keeping plenty of that. Civil services, church power. Goodness gracious. I wish I could have, uh, would have seen that before. I would have been spending lots more church power here on those guys. So are we over a thousand now? We are so close to economic hegemon. So economic hegemon is the, usually the easiest one to get. And in my opinion, it's probably the best. Gives you extra 25% goods produced, minimum autonomy and territory, which helps you uh, get more goods produced out of your lands overseas and governing capacity. Now, it's really great for playing tall. Uh, military is best for playing wide, better siege ability, so you win sieges faster, movement speed, land attrition, national unrest, so it's really easy to conquer a bunch of land. And even better yet, the 10% war score cost for provinces is really, really strong. But... Um, Economic is the one that I'm pretty keen on. Uh, economic is <laughs> what most people would refer to as a win more mechanic. Once you get it, you just win more, right? Claim hegemony. 
I will hold off until uh, I know for a fact that I can hold on to it, and then I will um, push for economic hegemon. I will proclaim ourselves the economic hegemon. Because right now, the only reason I probably have it is because something wonky is going on with uh, trade. Oh, really? I just died. Holy crap. 645. Yes, please. How about a 655? Who's only 37? Let's go. Yes, our president. Legend, man. Legend. And he's a zealot. Let's go. <laughs> Life is good. Life is good. All right. Spain. Yes. Yes. Give me Sardinia. Very good. That means I can build cannons soon. I have to core this, but that's fine. I'm not going to I'm not going to yoink the dev. I will Let me see here. Let's park um this stack over there. Let's have you guys brought up here. This is a 32 34 stack and this is a 34 stack. You guys can come up to Brugge. Prussia is disloyal again, so I'll just placate him. It's fine. It's really not an issue here. Um, now, what is our income now? Okay. Uh, well, it looks like we can proclaim economic hegemon, which basically makes everybody in the world hate us. They hate us. They hate our guts. They said, you suck, and we hate you. And you know what? I don't really care, to be honest with you. Now, I can leave these guys as an OPM, and it will allow us to peace out basically right now. So, I'll do that. That will make New Holland nice and big and beefy. Now... Yeah, it costs us a lot of Diplo, so we're going to be behind on Diplo for a while. Switch over to a Diplo focus, and I will actually, let's see here. Let's go with, um, I guess Diplo rep is fine. I could go with the, uh, whatever it was, it said something about um, loyalty of vassals, but I'm not, I'm not concerned about it. Now, I have to give all of these to Poland or to Prussia on their own because otherwise it will um, cost me more Diplo. So we probably won't be able to take it all, right? Oh, we can, nice. 50 AE is actually very reasonable in my opinion. We'll also take war reps and uh, as much war score in, as we can over there. So that's pretty good. Now, let's see here. Formalize the separation of powers. Yearly prestige, cool. Yeah, I'll do that, no problem. Does that mean they're too big to be a vassal now? Or a march, they're still not too big to be a march. All right, cool. Well, that's awesome. They are built up to 93,000 men and still making decent money because of our subsidies. That is uh, pretty great. <laughs> These guys are over here taking mad attrition for no reason. So that's my bad. Let's have you guys come here and let's have you guys come here. We'll uh, suppress rebels with them. No need to force march, of course. So we get some, tr some peace for now, a time of peace. Let's uh, have you guys suppress rebels here and have you guys suppress like across this area here. I'll actually double up over here and have you guys suppress like over here is fine. Now these lads can just suppress down this way and this big old big boy stack can drill. These guys will suppress over here and uh, our Navy, we, looks like we stole a bunch of ships somewhere. Oh, my dog's over here hawking up a loogie. You all right, buddy? He's a beat. <laughs> you know, anybody who's ever owned dogs or ever had dogs knows, like, dogs are really dramatic. <laughs> he starts coughing. He's like, bleh, bleh, making these, like, horrid noises. I'm like, dude, are you all right? He's like, no, I'm fine. It's, uh, yeah. Looks like we're going to end up having rebels. There's not really much I can do about it. Hopefully these ones down here will get handled. I'd be very surprised if they did not. They have 18,000 men somewhere. Over here? Why? But why? They have claims over here, which is cool. Are these guys allied? They're allied to Tiwi? Okay, cool. Well, that would actually be really good for us. We can co-belligerent both these guys. Who are you? Yes, let's do it. That will allow us to annex these, three, these four provinces over here, because this is one. Yep, so that'll work out just fine. Hopefully they'll handle the rebel, their rebels, and we don't have to worry about that over there. Not bad at all. So the coalition is large, but uh, I'm not concerned about it. Truce to these guys will be up in December of two years from now. So plenty of time to worry about our spy network over here. We have the claims that we're looking for. How do I still not have 72? It's so annoying. It's so annoying. Um, 
Man, all right. Um, I'm just really trying to get a little bit of extra trade power in this area, and it's really, really irritating. Now, I think I just built a bunch of buildings and provinces that my vassal was trying to... Um, trying to, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, core. But that's okay. Either way, I think that was a good episode. And uh, we are the economic hegemon of the world. And as you can see here... Uh, the benefits are starting to scale up. We have 0.1 or 1% goods produced. And over time, that will increase more and more and more. And we will collect more and more and more and more and more as we continue to steer all the trade into the channel and get big and rich. So hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. Support me on Patreon, guys. If you have it within your means, you want to see more of this sort of stuff. Patreon support really is what allows me to do what I do. I couldn't do it without you guys on Patreon. So... If you want to support, link is in the description below the video. And uh, if you want to uh, see what's going on over on the Discord or uh, my subreddit, those are both going to be linked in the description as well as my Twitter. So follow me over there. But uh, that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.